Okay, we're here at 20288 Lorenzano here in Woodland Hills. We couldn't find any mainline clean out, so we're running the camera from a roof vent. A two inch roof vent, there was only one that we could gain access to, got us into the main line. We like to do that anyway, this way we can check as much of the main line as possible. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house, we're going to check the main sewer line. You have your general inspector, he's going to run the water everywhere, make sure everything's draining properly. So right now we've got our camera in from the roof vent and we're in 168 feet, which brings us up to the property line. We cannot push the camera any further due to the amount of distance and the amount of turns in the line. We've obviously got enough camera, but going through all the turns is as far as we were able to push the camera, which brings us to the driveway. We're pretty much under the driveway near the water meter. And we're going to pull it back here because this is where it takes a dive over here. And it comes back at a 45 degree angle, which we're going to come. This is ABS plastic. It's in good condition. We're just going to come back. Did you come back, Alex? No, but did you when the first turns? Okay, go, go forward then. Let me see what's going on. Oh, never mind. Yeah, go, go. Just go, 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 maybe keep going, keep going, keep going. You know what, I'm going to locate where we are just in case we need to put a clean out here. So let me pause the recording over here. Okay, we've located this uh, in the grass area like four feet deep. It's all ABS plastic. What it does, it actually comes with a pipe. If you're facing the house, it exits on the right-hand side and then comes all the way across the front of the house to the driveway. And that's as far as we could push the camera. This is all ABS plastic outside, which is all in good condition. So, it's pretty, they didn't put any clean outs out there, but we're going to bring the camera. It's all ABS plastic outside. All looking good. Technically, you're supposed to have clean-outs every 100 feet. Yeah, so, this is all ABS going all the way across the front yard. It's all in good condition, yeah, you can see that. It's going to take a turn, yeah, and then it's going to start coming along the side of the house on the right-hand side. Alex, you're going to just go forward. There's the cast iron. Okay. Go forward forward there's the ABS and my I don't know if there's a okay there's nothing there come slowly back I mean there may be but it's we'll poke around there coming now we're going to start coming underneath the house to a cast iron pipe it's definitely getting a little old definitely has some rust build up in it um, definitely getting a little old now the thing is you never want to be flushing tampons, baby wipes, paper towels. It might be a good idea to put a two-way clean out where the pipe exits the house. Just in case you do have a blockage over here, you could always snake it upstream. Because this is going quite a distance into the house. Now this is the main line, like I said, we cannot check every pipe in the house. Okay, here it's going to come up the roof vent. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording over here. Okay, so we cannot find a clean out. We're going to recommend a two way clean out install with a pipe access. The house is going to be very important to do that so that it could be snaked upstream and then that you can complete the inspection because we cannot check the pipe going out into the street. Although the water was flowing very well, didn't back up. We'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.